There are many ways to prevent car accidents, and today we're going to be exploring some of the technological advances designed to save people's lives. Look at a modern car and you'll see it's brimming with all sorts of high-tech features designed to make your driving experience safer. But in some cases, it's been an uphill battle getting car manufacturers to make these features standard. We'll hear more about those efforts in a moment. But first, auto technician Ryan Pisilkowski showed me what a lifesaver some of this tech can be and why you should look for it when shopping for a car. So Jack, imagine you're driving down the road yeah. and the driver is really distracted. Uh -huh. Whoa, what's going on? Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Would you believe that I didn't step on the brake pedal? You're kidding me. This car has automatic emergency braking and forward collision warning. So I don't know if you heard that audible tone before we stopped. Like some sort of beat. Yeah. To get your attention. It lets you know there's something ahead of you going at a much slower rate and you're getting closer quickly. So how does that work? This car has radar and cameras that are sensing an object in the road in front of you. Basically knows that you're not gonna stop in time on your own and it stops the car for you. This has to be one of the best features you can have in a car. Is it standard in every car? Not yet. This is new technology. It takes time. We would like to see this in um, all cars. That's how to avoid hitting what's in front of you. But our next safety feature is all about avoiding hitting what's behind you. Take a look behind me. Can you see anything back there? Just the trees and the grass. Now check this out. Hey, the cones. Yeah. I couldn't see those. <laughs> We were all the way, almost in the middle of the road there, and you couldn't see those cones with your own eyes. Backup camera, we were able to see it the whole way. All new cars now come equipped with rear view cameras and advocates are hopeful this new standard will reduce the amount of back over accidents. Before the requirement was in place, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimated that around 300 people were killed and another 18,000 people were injured during back over accidents each year. Finally, Ryan wants to demonstrate a safety feature you may have never heard of. It's called electronic stability control, and it might be the most important feature of them all. Jack, I'm gonna warn you, you're either gonna love this or hate it. I don't know if I like the sound of this, Ryan. <laughs> all right, Ryan, I'm a little scared. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you what ESC is, uh, electronic stability control. The system keeps your vehicle on the road. With sensors, the car has a steering wheel sensor, there's a yaw rate sensor, and then you have wheel speed sensors and it will actually apply brakes at different corners of the vehicle to straighten us back out. It stays under control. The car has been modified so this all important safety feature can be turned off. For our first run, I get a first hand look at what it can do. We're gonna go through about 50 miles an hour. Should I brace myself? Yes, yes you should. Oh, Ooh, whoa. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> oh, that was pretty crazy. But exhilarating at the same time. What happened there was this course mimics, you know, a child running out from one side of the road. I have to swerve. I'm in opposite oncoming traffic lane. I was able to swerve and safely get back into that lane without the car fishtailing. The car was very grounded, and I never felt that I was in any position of danger. Now that we've seen the life-saving power of ESC, it's time to try the same run at the same speed with ESC turned off. So what's going to be the difference? You're going to find out in two seconds. <laughs> OK, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So wow. That's Thank goodness for the ESC. What many people don't know is how hard fought the battle has been to get car makers to install these safety features as standard. To find out more about that, I met with Consumer Reports CEO, Marta Tellar. I was just at the auto test track. Wow, so what'd you learn out there? So much. I learned how the right car safety features really count. We have a lot of work to do informing consumers about the safety features, but we can't stop there because we want everybody to be safe. So why is it so important to test car safety features? We spend a lot of time in cars, maybe too much time, but what we know is that 37,000 people die every year in automobile accidents. Mm. What our testers have experienced firsthand, though, is that there are certain safety features that can reduce those crashes because everyone should be safe in their car. Have you personally found uh, the features to be very helpful? Every day. Having that backup camera gives you that extra added confidence you need when you're backing up. And for years, we said that that should be standard. Today, it is standard in every car. There was a time when even seatbelts were optional. 
course, they have to be installed in cars now. Marta says it's time for people to think about these high-tech safety features in the same way. Uh, Marta, I just noticed you don't have anything to drink. Want me to get you something? I'd love some water. Do you know where that is? Uh, yeah, I think it would. I'm so sorry. I think I need a backup camera for life. I think it's a pretty good idea, Jack. I'll be right back. 